Now, this one, this lesson, is all about um, re-threading the string. There is uh, two types, of, there's three uh, strings here. It looks like three, but of the three, well, one of them is a ladder. So just imagine a ladder. And the other one in the middle is going all the way through it. It's woven in between it. So it's the one that's in between this one here. This one here, we're pulling it out and then I'm going to attach a string to it. I'm going to attach a string to it, the, the cord. I'm going to tie it to it using a reef knot, right? So which is left over right and right over left. And that's a reef knot. I pull that tight and that's not coming out. That's what it's known, known for. All right, so I've done that reef knot and I'm going to go to the other end and I'm going to pull, I'm going to find the string, which is for that one. Here we have it. That's the string for it. So I'm going to pull it all the way through. And wait for it to come out. Now, if it gets stuck, it's because it's in a locking position. So it's stuck there in a, in a locking position. But all you have to do is, let me go up there and show you. There is a pin in this section. All you have to do here is pull that pin out and get ready to catch the, the ball. To release it, there we are. Let me take the pin out. I don't want all that to fall out. So this this is what I've taken out. I've taken out the pin and two little balls which is on a wheel. Three things there and then I have to put them back. And once I've taken that out all the strings will go through freely. So let me tie them all up and pull them all in one go. Pull this out. Do your, pull it out, do a reef knot, left over right, which is a knot, right over left, entire knot, and no way is that coming out, cut off the excess, And the 
last one. Right, so that's all that done. So now what I'm going to do is hold the cord and pull them all through. That's one through already. That's the second one. One's caught somewhere. That's the third one. Let's find out where that one's caught. Fine. I didn't cut off this string. Let's cut that off. I've got too much string sticking out. So that's that. And let's pull this through. And that's what it's all about. Now they're all being pulled through. Let's put the wheels back together. They come in two bits. So I put it back together, there it is. So that's three things in my hand there. And I put it back in the front, back in the front of this compartment, which is the pulley where everything goes through. And I separate the rings, the, the, um, and then there's a pin, there's two holes where the pin goes in. So that's what I'm gonna do and put it back and put the cord through this and separate the cords. So two on one side, two on the other. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go and put it back. Right, here's the wheel. Here's the thing. Now I'm going to put the ball back in. I'm going to move the strings aside and put the slot the ball in. Now I'm going to separate two of the cords. And now I'm going to push it back in this little hole they've cut out where it came from. Making sure that the ball doesn't drop. And then with a T tweezer, because this is so close to the edge, I don't have much room to play with. I'm gonna put thread, thread the pin back in. It's a matter of, hardly can see the hole. Anyway, it's going in, so that pin is now back, and these are now separated. So that's ready for me. Now I'm going to thread all the threads back in. No, no, I'm going to take out all the slabs, take out all the broken ones. There's a broken one. That's a broken one. Take out. That's where the broken ones have been taken out. So now I'm going to fill it with the ones from the bottom. So I'm gonna move the ones from the bottom and move them up to the top, all the broken ones, and, and replace them. Thank you. 
rub from Peter to pay Paul. Some of these ladders are broken as well, so I'm going to have to restring it and fix it. So that was a different repair from the others I've done. This is what you call Rob Port Peter to pay Paul. Now that's done. The next step now is for me to, right here, one of these ladders are broken. So I'm gonna get my needle and thread and sew a bit of cotton, strong cotton going across here. Uh, there's somewhere else it's broken as well. And then the next step now is for me to thread all these strings going right down. And as you can see, all the slabs are now back in. The only difference with this now is it's shorter. So that's where there's a broken thing. But as you can see, they're all being replaced. So now I will get on with re-threading the string. 